Hey everybody, um, I've already played this before, so I'm just going to make a new account. And, because I already collected all the prizes, and I want to show you all the prizes that you can possibly get. Well, you can get, if you get all the collectibles. Trust me, I know this. I'm going to do a seal, because the people in the sea actually get to go in the sea but the bunnies the monkeys the koalas yeah they don't so i suggest getting the seal so my name is going to be oh where's where's sassy i, I need sassy yes seven. there's no sassy i guess i will do darling Silly dolphin. I don't know. I'm just picking. Okay, I'm going to block this out. Okay, I just did all the personal information. I agree. I don't really. I mean, I read these because, you know, you need to know this. I'm just going to skip that. I actually have played it a zillion times because I've played over a thousand games before so we're going to actually start with wait I have a new thing for you like this video and at least and if we get 300 likes I will start using the face cam so you can actually see what I look like um click the mouse to move me I don't like uh, there 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 okay skip we I'm gonna show you all the way so you just click to move um I don't really want to go anywhere where you can move your arrow keys. All right, we're going to start the hunt. So you click this, your journey book. And welcome to your journey book. Find any, find and collect all the facts for each page to earn a special gift. So we're going to start with the very one, which is the Karimba Outback. So, you go here, no, I'm sorry. You go to the world map and you find the Crimbia Outback. I can't find it. What? And like I said, I suggest this seal so that you can get the prizes for the Crystal the Crystal Reef, the Baharia Bay, the Canny Cove, and the Deep Blue. Um Deep Blue what? I don't know. I cannot find it on the map. Is it even here? Cool can where is it? Where is it? I don't know. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm just, oh what? I didn't do funny dog. I did shy dolphin. That sucks. Alright, um. What? This keeps doing things I don't want. Okay, so I guess we're going to do Mount Shiver. Um, this is based off of real stuff, so we're going to be, alright, so go to your animal, and we're on Mount Shiver. So you gotta look for this, 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 this. And once you find, and if you find them, then you get, um, and get a prize. See, like, I think this is one. No, that's just a random bird flying around. Um, these are bad things. They're so scary. They're like cyclops spiders or something. Um, there is a slide. I don't. I don't want a hamster. I don't. I don't want a hamster. Um, stay on the ice, people. No, I'm not. I don't, you only need seals to do that because it's an underwater cave. They're going to be very disappointed when they find out that they actually can't do that. All right, so you click on that and it says gold. Gold has been prized among civilizations since ancient times. Gold is one of the easier metals to form and was often used by ancient civil civilizations to make jewelry. Since gold is such a soft metal, copper is sometimes added to make it harder. So you just add that, and then it tells you some amazing facts. Yes, I know I'm 11, and, you know, you're probably like, 
20 or something. Oh, juniper. I don't even know what I clicked for that. Juniper. Juniper trees are, and shrubs are evergreens, which means they stay green all year and don't lose their leaves in the fall. Juniper berries are blue-gray blue in color, and they have a very strong taste and smell. Some junipers can grow up to 50 feet tall. So I'm not really sure. Oh, that's probably the juniper tree. <laughs> We're going to click on this to see if it... Okay. Well, then... I guess that's not... They put a tent in the way of this. I'm going to do everything you can imagine on here for Animal Jam. Yay! Yay, we're going to jump because we're so happy. Okay, I want, I want to quit. I, want, I don't want to do that. Do you want to be jammer? Uh, be, to be new jammer? Buddy? Okay. How do you stop this? Oh, yeah, yeah, to click. Oh, I'm so stupid sometimes. Okay, and you may think this is part of the game, but it's not. Click this. What? Wait, what? There were gems. Okay, never mind. Click these. Yak. Yaks are a type of wild cattle that live in Asia at high elevations, ranging from 10,000 to 18,000 feet. In China, yaks are known as hairy cattle because they look like cows covered in long, thick hair. Yaks are used for many different ways. Their meat and milk is eaten, their hair is used to make cloth, and their skin is used to make coats and blankets. So we just add that, and we've got all of this. So we still need this, 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 and this. I need to hurry up. It's almost my bedtime number. No matter how mu how stupid that sounds, you know what? If you if you even oh I clicked on that by the way. No, I clicked on this. I think permafrost. Permafrost is soil. I'm sorry, I don't know how to say it. Permaf permaf permafrost is soil that stays frozen for years at a time. Depending on what different material are in the soil, different patterns can form in the permafrost. Scientists estimate that some permafrost in Sabrina has been frozen for more than a one million years straight. Add to the book. I don't know. Is this what it was? No. It was, actually. So, that's, this is pretty much what we're all going to do is Mount Shiver. So click that. Leeming, oh, they look like little cute hamsters or guinea pigs. Leemings are rodents that are related to mice. Every two to five years, some leemings' populations will grow so large that thousands of leemings will migrate in search of food and better habitat. A common myth claims that during this migration, leemings will jump off high cliffs and into the ocean. Thankfully, this is not true. By the way, I am sorry if you're 20 years old and this you know, and you think, oh my gosh, that's a kid's channel. But I guess, you know, it is. But who cares? Himalayan tire. This is meant for kids, you know. I mean, I think it's, you know what, I might just change this to a gaming and kids games. So it could be either or. So still comment down below what you want me to do on Animal Jam, Vantage, Roblox, or Minecraft. I'll get destroyed in either or. Roblox or Minecraft if you ask me. Himalayan Tahar. Himalayan Tars are goat-like animals that live on some of the steepest cliffs and mountains in the world. Himalayan Tars, I don't I don't know how to say that, live Tars, I meant. Not Himalayan or lit. I don't know how to spell the T-A-H-R-S. Himalayan Tars live in groups to two to thirty animals. Wow, that's so short. Female Tars can weigh up to eighty pounds and the male Tars can weigh up. To 160. Why can't they just say a hill? Hill. Uh, I can't. Himalayan. There we go. There's Easter eggs all the way up there. <laughs> I know there were gems somewhere. I guess that wasn't one of them. There. Here we go. That's one. Hawk moth. Ooh, this sounds interesting. Hawk moths are powerful flyers and can reach speeds of almost 30 miles per hour. Most hawk moths adults sip nectar through a long straw-like tongue that, that's called proboscis. 
One species, however, steals honey from bees. Hawk moths can have wingspans that measure up to 18 inches across. Okay. You can also hold your mouth and do that. Okay, let's search in here. I've done this before, but excuse my language. Oh, red panda. I don't know where we found that. Where did we find that? Whatever, it's around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Climbing up the bamboo, you silly, sneaky, stealthy little guy. All right, red panda. Red pandas are also called lesser pandas and fire, fire foxes. In the past, scientists have in, identified red pandas as related of both giant pandas and raccoons. Well, they look like, you know, a mix. Red pandas weigh about 8 pounds and are almost 23 inches long. Their bushy ring tail... Range of tails are almost as long as their bodies are. All right, I gotta say this. I'm so sorry for saying this, but I saw one of those at the zoo. It was so fascinating. I just love the zoo. Like this video if you also like the zoo. If you don't, then, you know, that's okay. You know, not everybody likes the zoo. Ooh, here's one. Partridge, ooh, and a partridge and a pear tree. That that just popped into my mind. Partridges are game are game birds. Ooh, that's perfect for me. <laughs> Which means they are hunted for their meat. That, uh, uh, not me. But the game birds, yeah, pretty much. There are many different species of partridges, and each species has its own unique colors and appearance. Some partridges are brown and white. Some have red faces and some are even blue green wow i did not know that about partridges um that is very fascinating i i didn't know that um let's look what do we have left this particular plant and that i clicked on that though there himalayan poppy Oh, that looks so cute, those flowers. Take a look at that while I, while I read it. How the sun is glowing from them. Himalayan poppies are said to be the color of the blue Tibetan sky. Tibetan? I don't know. If you're a kid, ask your mother or father if I'm not pronouncing this right. The leaves and stem of Himal Himalayan poppies are covered in sharp spines. The Himalayan poppy is the natural flower of the Bhutan. I don't know. I don't know. I can't really find anything else. I guess there's this block thing we have to find. I'm trying to find the block thing. Fang. Fang, fang. Thing, fang. <laughs> um, so if you're so far enjoying this video, then I suggest getting it. Like, playing Animal Jam it is completely free. No downloads necessary though you would need to buy a membership oh there it is there it is slate slate is formed when shale is exposed to immense heat and pressure look at that picture while I read you should you probably should have done that before I close anything among the other things slate has been used to road construction roofing and concrete mixes Slate is found all throughout the world in places small pieces of rock have been pressed together under pressure of thousands of years. Okay, we've got about two minutes. All right, and if you are not sure you got everything, but you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven things, then this will pop up and you click on the gift and you get a ramp. A red panda plushie. How cute is that? You can either discard it or keep it. I'm going to keep it. And then this will pop up. All right. I'm not, I don't have any time to do that, so I'm just going to show you how to make a science bottle in hot cocoa. Hopefully. Okay. Oh, they don't have the science bottles anymore. Um, well, you click this hot cocoa machine, the game, the gamer Thinger, and you and something pops up and I think I want the flower cup and then you pick your color I want it to be yellow and then you pick one of these and I want it to be dark brown you can add marshmallows 
or whipped cream, and then you pick one of this. And I think I want 